In some cases, we might also want to create our custom loss functions in order to better fit our deep learning problems. And TensorFlow Carrots also allow us to create some custom losses. And that is a callable functions that returns an array of losses that can be passed to the compile functions as a loss. Let's take a look on the example. So first thing first, we just uh, import the library um, that include the sequential model, the dense layers, and just uh, we named the TensorFlow as the TF and NumPy as the MP. And then we just uh, create the uh, input and output value. And we create a sequential models with two layers. Now, a custom loss function can be created by defining a function that take the true value and predict the value as required parameters. In that case, we define a function. This is a custom loss function. And we take two arguments, that is the true value and predicted value. And the function should return an await of losses. And that is then a way of the losses. Say, for example, we just uh, create a mean square error um, function. This is a custom loss function. So we take the square difference here, and then we calculate all. We try, um, so we reduce the dimensions and take the mean. And now we will return you the MSE here. The functions can then pass to a compile as a loss function. We just use the loss equals to these defined custom loss functions. Um, of course, we pass it on uh, with another parameter that is the uh, atom optimizer. And if we compile and if we run it, fit the models, and just to give you a comparison between the custom MSE and built-in NFC, you can take a look on the differences. And actually, they are the same. And you can see they provide you the same loss value. The reason is because the custom MSE is just, uh, sorry, the custom loss function is just a MSE. And of course, we can also use the built-in MSE. In a nutshell, if you want to create a custom loss function, then you can just define a function and take the true value and predict the value as the function's input. And then remember, you need to return uh, an array of losses as the output from these functions so that we can assign these loss, we can assign these array of losses equals to these loss functions or loss value parameters.